Hello everybody, you're watching Channel 1, where in this video, I finally get my suspension to work as it would have done a week or so ago, which I presume to have been correct. So, if you've watched the previous episodes of this diagnostics, um, you'll remember it all started with this message coming up on my dash as I was driving into work one day. Uh, which would keep popping up then every time I drove the car. And with a random bit of poking and prodding around, unplugging things and plugging them back in, I got absolutely nowhere. So I resorted to buying some diagnostic software, which told me I had one fault with my suspension, uh, C1196, non-coherent change of height. And after simply clearing that code with the software, um, I got manual adjustment of my rear suspension back with the buttons in the boot, uh, which wasn't working while I had the suspension faulty message on my dash. Uh, so fundamentally, I knew most of the components were working okay. Um, but I had a new error message, U2003, remote control wake up signal to the suspension ECU um, not reading correctly. Now there is surprisingly little information I could find on the internet um, about that signal. Uh, but what I did find looking over some uh, circuit diagrams for the car uh, was this wire here uh, which is the remote controlled wake up signal wire from the BSI pin 10 to the suspension ECU pin 16. Now, one thing I did find out about the BSI is if you remove the battery connection and put it back on uh, without the system um, doing a complete shutdown and reboot. Um, there can be parts of the system that remain in a set sort of configuration, which can screw up all sorts of signals. Uh, and if you've watched the previous videos, you remember one of the things I did to try and clear the fault was disconnect the battery. Now, I don't know if I did that correctly or not. Uh, but I found a BSI uh, reset procedure, which you have here. Um, I don't know um, what you're watching this on and whether you can read um, what it says there. So I will just tell you the procedure for resetting the BSI, which can cure all sorts of problems, it says, from windscreen wipers stop working, central locking going mad, windows stop working, indicators and lights doing their own thing. Uh, the BSI can cause a whole manner of nutty problems if it isn't reset properly when you tinker with the battery. So, the procedure for resetting this is put your driver's window down and lift the bonnet uh, and ensure all equipment is switched off. Number two, ensure all doors, I'm sorry about that bonging, uh, ensure all doors are closed and remove the key from the ignition. Step three, wait for three minutes. Then disconnect the vehicle battery and wait for 15 seconds. I actually waited a fair bit longer than three minutes because I just went off and did something else. So don't think that time is as specific it needs to be three minutes. I think that is just the amount of time it takes for all the systems in the car to actually correctly depower. Uh, step four, reconnect the vehicle battery and wait a further 10 seconds. Um, and again, you know, the 15 seconds uh, and these 10 seconds, I think are just minimum sort of numbers because uh, I never stuck to them. I left it a bit longer each time. Um, and it says, uh, yes, after you've waited the 10 seconds after reconnecting the vehicle battery, do not open the doors. 
Step 5. Switch on the side lights through the driver's window. Which is why step 1 was put the driver's window down. Step 6. Uh, switch on the ignition and check the system's functionality. Now I didn't start the car because, uh, well, mine's automatic for a start and my arms aren't long enough to push the brake pedal and turn the ignition, so I did just turn the ignition on, um, which I must have been correct. Uh, step 7. Hold the lock button on the key down for 10 seconds. Now I did pretty much count in my head 10 seconds for that. Uh, because sometimes with key depressions you do need a certain 3 seconds, 5 seconds or whatever. So I did stick to 10 seconds with that. Um, step 8. Remove the key, open and close the door and test the central locking system. I did that. Mine worked fine. And then start the engine and complete the systems check. The systems check is just its power up functions. Um, I did that, I wouldn't say exactly as it says, but in the order it says, even if some of the times are a bit stretched out. Uh, and lo, my suspension has started to work. Each time there's a load put in the boot and I open and close the door again. Which... Even after I'd got it to work manually with the buttons, it wasn't doing. Um, I must say though that uh, I did do some trials um, before doing this BSI reset, uh, where I lowered the suspension all the way down and drove off. And when you get above 10 miles an hour, uh, the suspension is supposed to um, set its balance and, and get it level which my car was doing. So again, fundamentally, even though it wasn't working as it used to, um, I was quite confident that I wasn't going to have any major dramas with setting the suspension height incorrectly myself. It was actually going to self-level once it got above uh, the 10 mile an hour speed. Uh, but I wasn't completely satisfied because it wasn't working how it used to. Um, and then after doing this BSI reset, uh, and the BSI is body systems, I, I don't know, to be honest, uh, it's something to do with the control of the body of the car. Um, and it is a lot of things, as you say, it's like wipers, doors, windows, loads and loads of things. Um, but yes, I did the reset, uh, and then, uh, as I close and open the door with different weights in, or open the, unlock the doors and things, uh, and even kind of lock, shutting the door and, and locking it, my suspension does automatically try to level out, as it always would previously. Uh, whether they're all supposed to do that, I don't know. I hear different stories from people, but mine, ever since I bought it, uh, pretty much every time I lock or unlock the car, uh, there would be some little noises from the compressor or something adjusting the, the height of the suspension of the car. Uh, it never would do as some people have the, well, I'm just going to drop to the floor overnight. And when you go into the morning, it has to pump itself up. Um, I've never had that issue with it. Uh, there would just be these little pumps of it seeming to settle itself out, um, which it now does. Uh, indeed, uh, today uh, I have gone and filled up with fuel, and as soon as I got in the car and shut the door, again, the suspension compensated for all that extra weight of 60 odd litres worth of uh, diesel going in the back. So, while I haven't replaced anything, um, which is, and really, I can't say I've found what caused the fault to trigger in the first place, uh, because the original fault was that non-coherent reading of height. Uh, I 
don't know what has caused that message to trigger originally so it may come back uh, but for now um, by having a little tinker and a play uh, everything seems to be working as normal so um, as I was getting nowhere as I says just poking and prodding around uh, the Diag software fundamentally was very helpful in giving me some direction to look um, and try and source and, and find the fault uh, but for now I will say everything is working um, I will keep you updated uh, if it is intermittent it is bound to come back as I have changed nothing um, and I will let you know where I get on with that folks so in conclusion this was a bit of an odd one uh, even though things are working as normal now and I have taken measures to fix it I haven't found the cause of what triggered it uh, so who knows what is going to happen next uh, but what I can say is, is the dog software um, fairly intuitive once you get in uh, did seem to point me in the right direction of things it has highlighted a few other things which are going to be now in follow-up videos I wanted to get this sorted beforehand uh, and that is it for the suspension diagnostics and fixing so if this has been of any use to you uh, do please hit the like button please subscribe to one of these channels particularly if you have the car uh, and if you are having any problems yourself um, don't be afraid to let me know in the comments what you are and I will see if I can either replicate them or get some information using the tools I have uh, to point you in the right direction to fix it so thank you very much again do take care, everybody. Stay safe. Peace.